Howdy there. Howdy. Have you seen the Rileys around? Well, I haven't seen Mr. Riley, but uh, Mrs. Riley's taking care of her horses. Thank you there. Uh, what's your name again? My name is Doug Lawrence. Oh, yes, sir. You be getting rid of pests for the Rileys? Well, sir, getting rid of pests is the only thing I'm good at. Should start calling me sheriff, Lucy. Uh, well, I'm not one for honoring titles. You really are a young lady, Lucy. Yes, I am. And didn't I ask you a question? Bank's been robbed. What? Where's your camel? Any that damn swan could get a hold of. Damn it. I'd like to talk to Mr. Riley. Well, I'm afraid he's been rounding up cattle all morning. He's not here. I guess we'll have to come back later then. Yes, we yeah, will. Really am sorry, man. Yeah, it's fine. Just kind of rude. Yeah. It's been nice seeing you, Lucy. Nice seeing you too, Mitch. We're gonna hit the road. See you later. Evening, Sheriff. Deputy? Mind if I get you boys some drinks? No, friend. We're on business. Grim business. Well, you can consider these ones on the house. That's a shame. What kind of business? Do you hear about that bank robbery? Sure as lack of rain. Lost a lot of good money in that. Also saw the robber, too. Dane looked fierce. Wait, you reckon it was a lady who robbed it? No man watched with his hips. No real one, that is. And a fake one wouldn't rob a bank. You didn't happen to see what she looks like now, did you? Couldn't get quite a good look at her with that mask on. But I sure know as hell she was a woman. Interesting. Very interesting. Did you happen to see Mr. Riley around? We've been looking for him all over the place. Unfortunately, I have. Him and that Douglas Lawrence were having a scrap recently. Could recognize that bl greasy bastard's voice anywhere. Ain't nothing but a rascal, Douglas Lawrence. We saw him shooting gophers with the 22 up at the Riley property. Oh no, now listen here, Sheriff. I think Mr. Riley's in grave danger. Right after that scrap, next morning, a lawyer buddy of mine told, in town told me that Mr. Riley changed his will so it was all in Douglas Laura's name. That's a serious accusation, but it makes sense. Wait, why would he do that? Mr. Riley wasn't particularly wealthy, man. Are you insinuating? That both of those men were accomplices in the bank robbery, fighting over the riches they got? Wait, this don't make sense. Robert was a woman. We're going to have to pay the Riley a visit, just to sort this one out. One more thing, gentlemen. I picked this off of the robber during the scene. Only one woman in town wears pearls for every occasion. We both know who that is. Sweet Jesus. Everybody in there? Howdy there, Miss Lee. Howdy, boys. How you doing today? Oh, no bad, no bad. Hey, I'm, uh, how's that barrel racing thing going? Oh, it's alright. Not so good with the weather out here, but... Terrible shame. Terrible shame. Do you have any competition this year? Oh, uh, well, you know, my main competition is Miss Lucy Riley, but her horses have lost their gold. She had a new coat she was counting on, but it just died the other day. I went up there and saw it all covered up in canvas. She was really mighty sad. Oh. So, uh, what can I help you boys with? Well, there's been a bank robbery. You yeah. wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Me? 
Well, I know about it, but I assure you, I was with Mr. Doug Lawrence. He knows how to treat a lady, that's for sure. <laughs> Do you know anything about these here pearls, ma'am? Well, these pearls are mine. I'll tell you that, but they were in my savings account. Good keeping, I like some pearls, you know? I, I, I mean, besides, boys, come on. Do I look like I need the money? Anyway, you best be on your way. You got what you wanted, I expect. I'll well, keep the these. There, man. All right, it's fine. Have it. See you later. Bitch. boots. I got that fine. Sweet Jesus. Oh God. What's that That's noise? Mr. Riley. What are you doing here? What do you think I'm doing here? What do you think I've been doing all along? Where'd you put the body? What body? You know what body? You go on, you miserable wench. Who'd you bring? I didn't bring nobody. Who'd you bring? I didn't bring anybody. Don't. Hold her out there, boys. Don't you move! Don't you move! Put your weapons down. Goodbye, Mr. Riley. Get your ugly face out of here. I heard what you did to my dog. I don't mean to cause you grief for my actions, ma'am. Your friend Doug, he was a liar, a thief, and a murderer. He got everything that he deserved. Don't say that. At least give him a nice clean day. I swear, good as my word, ma'am. I didn't cause him any unnecessary suffering. But what still baffles me is where he put all that money that he got from that bank robbery he pulled off. And I know and this man can testify that it was a woman who pulled it off, so I have reason to believe you were involved. Ain't no man walks with his hips. I wasn't involved and neither was he. I was with him that whole time, that whole day and night. I know I was there. No woman. <laughs> I never wouldn't want to do such a thing. You didn't do it. Who did?
name is Doug Lawrence. Sir. You get pest ridden. <laughs> <laughs> She actually punch you? No. So what do I do? <laughs> okay, that's. What the, what the fuck, dude? I'm going low. Sorry, sorry. You would have. That was the best one yet. You don't reckon it was a woman, do you? No man walks with his hips like that. No, no real man. No real man, no fake one would rob a bank. Can we restart that? <laughs> <laughs> no, no real man would rob a bank. Wait, you reckon it was a lady who robbed it? No man walks with his hips. No real one, that is. And a fake one wouldn't rob a bank. Well, oh, you guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you. This is so you. <laughs> what was I supposed to say? <laughs> but your friend Doug was a murderer and a thief. And he deserved everything he got. Don't say that to me. I, I forget my line. <laughs> <laughs>